Hey everyone, you're forgiven if you're a little bit confused, but there have been some updates to the BIM Forum's LOD specs, um, namely to make them uh, firstly clearer and uh, maybe less uh, wordy in their explanations, but also things like, as we can see here, we've got the 500 level was not used before in 2021, in 2022, um, the 500 level is used and also the level of accuracy is included. And really what this sort of folds in is it moves more towards the use of the LOD spec for geometry and it strips out the information requirements and it also follows the level of accuracy specification. So um, here we've shown you an example and actually we've added this new standard. So we now have the BIM Forum uh, 2022. Uh, we, we're also seeing a lot of people starting to combine these as well. So um, the ISO 19650 principles of level of information need, but using because there is a detail requirement inside of the level of, level of information need framework, um, they are combining it with the LOD concepts. Kind of interesting. Um, and uh, we can dig in a lot more into that. But one of the features that we added in the exports is to show the progression of these. So now we've got um, the definitions right the way through from uh, 100 through 500. In some of these, we have uh, descriptions and we have checklist items, etc. to be able to uh, define this. You can see the progression of the geometry, more elements um, as we progress, maybe less elements when we get to the handover requirements, but it would start to become more information and we can define information requirements. Um, the big feature or the feature that we added when you're exporting documents now, um, wrapping it in the EIR, but here the details print in the settings, we now can show where we're not grouping by milestone, which means that the report that is generated can look very similar to the specification that is in the BIM forum specification. So combining the concepts of the BIM forum, um, the level of progression as we have a model progressing through stages on a project. We show a couple of examples here where we're going from just schematic, diagrammatic um, to generic elements, to adding more of the elements, uh, to adding more maybe zones of influence, etc. cetera, um, blocking out zones, fabrication level, and then as we go to 500, um, maybe it's just as built conditions with three or four of those elements and then a lot more information as required. So this being able to define them in a much more clear way and um, as we have de defined this, um, made it super easy to, to put that together. Um, I wanted to share that because there have been some updates and if you're using the LOD spec, it's certainly been a journey. Um, we are making it easier to define exact requirements and putting them into something that then becomes contracts as well. So as you have created this as an export, it can also be then contracted for e-signature and used through smart contracting and also through your project compliance as well. If you have any questions about that, I'm sure you do. Um, we are always here to help, but hopefully you're following all of the updates and you are staying on top of all of those fantastic BIM standards that we have around the world. Uh, let us know how we can help.